Speech disorder is an all-inclusive term for a child who's either not speaking and does not articulate the speech properly or is not using speech even though he's running around, looks reasonably otherwise intelligent. Speech disorder, disordered speech. Speech delay is a child who's not speaking at an age when he's supposed to speak saying mama, dada by 11 or 12 or 14 months and putting two words together by 18 months, 20 months and speaking in a sentence by two or a two and a quarter. That means this child is not developing according to the timetable of speech development. That's a speech delay. Speech apraxia refers to he has all the elements that are required for speech. He has the labials, pa, 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 pa. He has the guttural sound, ga, 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 ga. He has the tongue sounds. And in spite of all of those abilities, he can spit, he can chew, he can cry, but he doesn't speak. Then in other words, he has the tools, but he is a practic, is not practical in the way he's putting together. Therefore, the speech he produces is inadequate. So, speech delay, speech apraxia, speech disorder or just descriptions of the speech phenomenon that you're looking at. But they're not diseases. There is a reason for them. For example, speech apraxia could occur in a child who had cerebral palsy, walk late and also had epilepsy from brain injury and his speech is not clear. There are children with speech delay who catch up. Everything else is normal. He's intelligent. He just had expressive speech delay. We call it developmental speech disorder. So these are terms that we use to get the kid off to the office with some kind of a code. But that does not mean it explains a diagnosis.